What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ and Mike. And it's time for homecoming at Long Beach State as the basketball season gets underway against San Diego State today. But let's take a second to just appreciate homecoming. So what you're saying is let's take a second to make me really, really, really hungry. <laughs> Crisp fall days are made for these events right here. Is everybody getting dressed up, putting a tiara on, and just taking a walk down memory lane. Everybody, alumni, and otherwise, thinking of the days when we had a football team and our colors were brown and yellow. At Long Beach State College, I guess, yeah. I like that. The alumni hanging out together, throwing the pigskin around a little bit. Uh, speaking of alumni, future alumni <laughs> getting ready to come to, the, uh, come to the place where you put your favorite jersey on and watch some feats of strength. A little indoctrination never hurt anyone. Get those kids started early. Dance team, cheer team. I feel like I'm just going through the list of things that you're supposed to show. You missed the dunk tank though, oh, but you got the most the important thing. You got Prospector Pete. But the real show was inside. Because everything they do, they do it big, black and yellow, black and yellow, black <laughs> and yellow. Wait a minute, they're going to play basketball after this? I thought we just showed up to eat some sh shish kebabs. No, yeah, they're going against one of the best teams in the country, a top 25 team, like I said before. The boys, Casper Ware, TJ Robinson, Eugene Phelps, and the like, ready to get back into this one after, obviously, losing in the Big West Tournament last Everybody's year. Everybody's here. Everybody is, including thousands of Aztec fans and the San Diego State Sequoias. They average 6-6 across the board, but Long Beach State excited to get going in this game. They've been waiting all summer for this one, and even though the Aztecs win the tip, Long Beach State definitely won the first few minutes from distance, yeah, TP3. That's almost to their detriment. I mean, this is a team that doesn't want to get too much in the habit. They started three for four behind the arc, but sometimes when you hit those shots, it can give you too much confidence in your ability to hit them. The physicality had to show that one. Kawhi Leonard just says, Casper Ware, get out of my way. I'm going to the 10. And he did that a lot with ease. We'll get back to him in just a second. But running the floor, Chase Tapley, got to show this one. The diaper dandy. Sophomore, oh my goodness, send that one to Sports Center. But like the energy I said earlier, Long Beach State just wanted it more in the first half. And they fed off that crowd. I mean, a huge crowd. Eugene Phelps says, get up or I'm coming to get you. Speaking of get up, woo. GP3 with two of his 10 and then one of his four assists to Tristan Wilson, who was a spark off the bench. So Long Beach State looking good, hanging with the Aztecs, but from distance for the Aztecs, it was a key 54% from the field in the first half. Rohan with the three to tie it at 21-21. And then it's time for the Casper Show. How many times did we see this last year? Casper Ware just taking a game over. The friendly point guard just gets to a point where he says, my teammates have gotten us to this point. Now it's time for me to put the squad on my back and go. Speaking of go, 10 seconds left. Loose ball, that energy helping Anderson. Give it to Ware. Give it to TJ. Woohoo! The highlight of the night, uh, early play of the year candidate at the end of the first half. He is the charter member at Long Beach for Phi Slamma Jamma <laughs> fraternity. Everybody juiced, and your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. It is, it is really 42-42 at halftime. With the number 25 team in the country, that's why these maniacs are so maniacal and just a packed house. Hey, lay it on me, JJ. How well, many people? The old record in 98 was 5,118. New record for a sporting event in the mid, 5,143. Good on you, Long Beach and San Diego State fans. But back to the game, where that energy from TJ's dunk in the first half definitely rolled over, and definitely rolled over with number 20. Yeah, and TJ Robinson's such a huge part of what this team's going to do, especially against a team with height. When he's hitting those turnaround shots, when he's going left, that's good for 49ers. He had 19 points and 9 rebounds, 12 lead change in the changes in this one, but it was the shots from distance. Like I said earlier, 46 points in the paint is huge for San Diego. 19 second chance points is huge, but it was Rohan's three three-pointers, his way to 14 points, that really changed the tide. Casper's and one right here pulls Long Beach within four, so they're not done yet. However, this is the play that changes the game, because it looked like Casper could have got that ball and gone the distance for an open layup. However, on that same possession, Gay, three of his 20, takes that lead to seven, and Long Beach State would not get close after that. They were five for 23 from behind the arc, only 37% from the field, and Kawhi Leonard just did his thing. 21 points, 12 rebounds. The Aztecs end the game on a 15-3 run. That score, not indicative of how well Long Beach played and how well Casper Ware played, 50% from the field and 15 points while struggling with cramps. We saw some of the weaknesses of this team, but we saw a lot of the strengths, and that's why you got to be back in the pyramid on Monday evening at 7 p.m. for their second game against San Francisco State. If you can't be in the stands, 
beatgazettesports.com because that's where we've got all the 49er athletics covered.